Hey everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Local Leaders, the podcast. And today we have Mr. Steve McDaniel in studio. How are you, Steve? Doing great. We are going to talk today all about some new ventures you got going on in your business and some uh, some that are somewhat new. But before we do any of that, uh, for the one or two people that may not know who you are in Livingston Parish, I uh, want to talk a little bit about where you're from. What part of the parish are you from? Uh, Walker. Moved Walker. here when I was four years old. You were actually a businessman pretty early in life, right? 19 years old. Started uh, Innovative Audio. Uh, very interesting. You're a man that knows, obviously, a lot about business with all the experience you had. At some point, you uh, you opened SCM Property Management. And SCM Property. You put in high-end, uh, what I would call higher-end, uh, uh, mobile home parks uh, have several in the parish. Nice looking mobile home. Parks. Yeah, we bring in brand new homes. Uh, yeah. We rent them out, or and sometimes we do owner financing on them. Very good, very good. And uh, we also want to mention that uh, as of late, you have a part store. That's your mobile home. Uh, we deal nothing but with mobile home parts. Excellent. And so, what if I need skirting? We got skirting doors, all that. Yeah, yeah, and and if it's something you don't stock, do I need to go somewhere else? Nope, nope. nope. Y'all we, we can get it. For us. We got two shipments on. Fr- uh, we got two shipments a week. One on Tuesday and one on Friday. Yeah, and comes in every week. Excellent. Great trucks. So anything for your mobile home that you may need, reach out to the folks at uh, SCM. They have move locations. Uh, actually, the building that I'm in and I produce this podcast out of is Steve's building, and uh, and he rents that to me. And he has moved to, uh, I guess you could say, the other side of Denham. Uh, you're right across from the McDonald's and right next to the firework, big fireworks yes, place yes. that everybody's familiar with right there in Rushing. Rushing Road. Yeah, so uh, got a beautiful, beautiful uh, building over there. You really remodeled that thing when you yeah, took we, it Yeah, we took it over and we remodeled, went in there and remodeled, made some offices. And uh, then the back, we did a warehouse. Uh, the total building's about 6,000 square feet. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Man, that's plenty of room. Plenty of room. You probably want to expand it already. I can already see that brain. Working. Yeah, my wife's, my wife says, <laughs> what you going to do with all this? And now it's <laughs> chock full of yeah. home parts. <laughs> that's the thing. You think it's going to stay, oh, I'm going to have all this space. You just fill it really quick. So, uh, But he has moved to that uh, other side of Denham and just got a beautiful location over there. That is where your part store is located? Correct. Right okay. across from Arby's next to the fireworks stand. And uh, we do the property management in the front of the building. Yeah. And we do the warehouse, parts warehouse in the back of the building. And what are the hours of that if somebody needs to Monday come Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. At Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and you can, I'm sure, call if you're curious if they have a part in stock, and they can probably le- yeah. let you know if they don't, uh, an estimated time of delivery. And just curious about this, have you seen what most manufacturers or most uh, part people that sell parts, all those sort of things, lately we've had a lot of shipping issues in a lot of different markets. Have you kind of seen that on yes. your end? Yeah, oh, yeah. Any, any, anything, it's very hard to get windows. Yeah, windows. Really? Um, That's interesting. I tried to order a window the other day for a guy, and they said next January. <laughs> That's insane. Yep. And yep. you've been ordering windows quite a while, so I mean, yep. you probably windows, never seen it like this. Never, never, never. Yeah. Doors. We, I mean, we keep everything in stock, but there's some specialty doors that we um, order. Yeah. And they said they're not making them because they're making all the stuff for FEMA right now. Mm. And they told me some of the the special door that I want to order was next March. My next next March. March. And I had somebody go a refrigerator. They went to get a refrigerator that you used to walk in a, a store and just buy it, right? It, it was like six months. They Correct. Yeah, we'll have mm-hmm. it to you in February or whatever they Me told and my, my wife's friend. stove went out. We got an in-wall stove. It went mm. out went to a client store to get one. Yeah. They told us eight months. So I said, well, what about the one in the wall? Yeah. I said, well, if it's used. You want to take it? I said, I'll take it. <laughs> it's I'm better than waiting eight months to eat. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. crazy. So took, yeah. Wow. What a world right now. It's just everything's nuts. Everything. Um, but we get through it as business people. You have to uh, definitely roll with the punches and just innovate. Come up with a, uh, you know another way to do something, whatever it is. So you obviously have been doing a good job of that. And we want to talk uh, primarily today about a new exciting venue. And for all of you that follow me on Facebook, you might have seen uh, just yesterday, uh, which this will air on Tuesday. So when you hear it, it would be like a, a you know half a week prior. But I posted a uh, a flyer for um, 
uh, I don't know what the proper term. I'm going to say short people wrestling. Micro. Micro wrestling. There you go. Micro wrestling uh, is coming to a new venue in Watson that was actually an old venue. I want you to tell us the history of this venue, first of all. So uh, start with that. Yeah, they started off as triage yeah. up there, um, and then it went to the good old boys. Yep. And the good old Many boys people are familiar it. with that. Yeah, the good old boys. Um, Tony Gyro did a good job up there. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, so it came to me to purchase it. So I did. And um, my wife is my partner. We're, so Lisa McDaniel yes. is my partner. Yes. Um, 50, you always see her next to Steve. No we're, matter where we're, he's at. we're 50 50 in it. Um, so, and we said, look, you know, what would happen was I said, hey, I'm going to buy the good old boys. Yeah. And she said, wait a minute, that's a bar. And I said, well, yeah. She goes, well, if it's a bar and you're going to buy it, I'm, I'm going to divorce you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well. And immediately I said, no, it's not a bar. It's a venue and entertainment. Yes. And that's what we're going to do up there. We're going to bring in venue and entertainment. So there's a lot of things you can do here, such as micro wrestling. Correct. That you probably wouldn't see in a typical bar room. Correct. Um, all, but they, it goes well beyond that. Now, the interesting thing and, and why I liked, I got a lot of interaction on Facebook just in the one day that I, that I've had it on there. And I think the reason for that is kind of, uh, number one, we've never had it, uh, that I'm familiar with in the parish. So it's, it's new and it's something nobody's, nobody's familiar with. Uh, and number two, it catches your eye, you know, it's just something different. Um, and I'm always someone that, that loves to see different things brought to the parish and maybe something you haven't seen before, but there's some familiar things that this uh, particular business is going to have Southern rhythm, Southern rhythm uh, venue. And, and one of those is live bands. So um, I guess a question here would be, I know you anticipated opening at one point and it got held back because of the hurricane kind of take us through that. Yeah. We was going to open up last month and uh, we had uh Chris LeBlanc band, mm-hmm. gonna, we're going to do a soft opening with him. And then we had Chase Tyler opening for our grand opening. Yes, and, then and Kendall, Chase, of course, a hometown boy. Hometown boy. Yes. And then uh, Kendall Schaefer. So we had three acts lined up last month, but we didn't have no electricity. Yeah. And since electricity didn't go, it pushed us back to this month, October. Yeah. And here we are. We're almost finished. Um we got everything. We this week is finalizing everything. Absolutely, you totally remodeled it. You did a great job. I, of course, follow your Facebook page that you have uh, uh, for Southern Rhythm Venue, and uh, you did a great job of taking pictures as you progressed through that remodel stage. Correct. My wife did all that. She yeah. runs the Facebook page. Yeah, and that's what. And you go back on the Facebook and see where it was was at to where it is now. It's um, amazing. It's uh, we got. Uh, vip areas in there yeah um, and they're upstairs they're upstairs kind of like a loft i guess kind of like a loft. we got yeah. vip we uh, extended the uh, the band the the stage we put this epoxy floor in there oh, um, it's beautiful. She, she wanted to get a uh big fan in there yeah and uh it's not the big ass fan that they everybody yeah. likes but <laughs> it's, it's a hunter fan yeah and uh it's 24 feet wow it's a 24 feet fan in there hey and it comes from the ceiling. I imagine it's a big ceiling. Yeah, thing. we got a ten foot okay. ten foot drop on it. Ten foot drop on it, and and you remodeled as far as uh, you you have all the wood slat. Uh, what I like about it is it's a it's a, um, a brighter wood stain. I guess you could say that mm-hmm. it it's more like a yellow yellow wood type color instead of those dark stains, and and that really opens the building up and makes it you know very spacious in there as a matter of fact uh you know according to the fire marshal 440 people can can get in there if needed and yeah, steve he, would love to have yeah. 440 people in there in no one doubt. night bring it on let's, it <laughs> let's see if he's right yeah let's, 440 let's, people i was like wow that's that's a lot to me yeah. to me that's a lot i've never owned a place a venue yeah and uh it's just something i've always wanted to do yeah on my, on my bucket list to own and uh, that's what I did. I, you know, bought it and made my wife my partner, and absolutely, we, we're gonna try it out and 
see where we land. Well, and you're familiar, you were familiar with it because you were a guy that liked to, you know, we would see each other listening to live bands, just oh. both being in the same place at the same time. So you you were very familiar with that type of, uh, of venue anyway, just from a fan standpoint, right? right. Correct. I always yeah. love live bands. Yeah. And one thing that, that Steve did that I thought was very smart was he conferred with people that already do this for a living, I guess you could say, and Correct. have a lot of years experience behind it. And, you know, y'all, you always seek out the advice of people that have been there, done that because it's probably what to do, invaluable. not to do what to do. Yeah. Not to do. Yeah. Learn from other people's mistakes. All right. That's don't, what don't I tell reinvent people. The wheel. Don't reinvent the wheel. If it works, it works. And so, uh, just a beautiful venue there. Now you mentioned some of those people that you had scheduled Then the hurricane hit, are they going to be rescheduled and be coming oh, up? Oh yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. Most, Good. Most definitely. we got those. We're, we're also talking to, um, some big acts yeah. right now that I can't say. Yeah. But, uh, we got some big acts coming. Um, and I'll let one of them out the bag. One of them is, uh, I'll, I'll like rock and roll. Yeah. And I love too. country. I like it all. Yeah. But um, we have a tribute band, ACDC tribute oh, band coming. Um, that would be cool. That's going to be next year. And uh, we were working on that deal right now. Very good. Very good. So he's moving in and shaking over there at uh, Southern Rhythm Venue. And uh, and you haven't even opened the doors yet. You already got, you know, you're already booking it out. One question I had, good old boys. One of the complaints with that, if anything, was the parking, right? It, Correct. it, it was yeah, tight. There, there was not really any parking. Right yeah. now, we brought in probably over 200 loads of dirt in there. We extended wow. the parking. Um, we actually didn't double it. We tripled the parking. Tripled the parking. Tripled. So people will love to hear that because that was, uh, if there was any complaint, that was it. it that was, was the biggest number one complaint, parking. Everybody complained about parking. Yes. So they have uh, tripled the parking. Tripled. So no problems there. It'll be easy to get in and out and park, and you ain't got to worry about all those sorts of things. Dane Arnold with iTrade Exchange has been enabling small business in the Livingston Parish area to save cash through his network of over 300 participating Livingston Parish businesses. Saving cash by trading services with other exchange members is what iTrade Exchange is all about. For more information, contact Dane Arnold at 225-205-3640 or visit itradeexchange.biz. Now, it's also important to mention that this venue um, is not just a you know, micro wrestling and a live band venue. You can do all kinds of things here. Give us an example of how you would rent this venue out for people to use. You can do graduation parties, corporate parties, um, birthday parties. Yeah. And we're we're going to have it available for, for anybody that wants to come rent the build, building out. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm sure they're, you know, working through that process. And, and of course you would reach out to probably a good way at, at this point is to reach out to you on Facebook with questions about that. Um, we, which incidentally, we're going to link their Facebook to the description of this video. So go to the Facebook page, give it a like, uh, obviously you're supporting uh, local business, your, uh, and also you stay updated your, your Facebook is active. So, you, Correct. you know, already even though you know they haven't hit the stage yet where the the people are busting through the door um they are updating on you know building uh progress and things like that so every day they have some good updates on there and if you like the page you're going to see when they book those bands right correct and, everything's uh run through facebook right now until we get our website up and running yeah um right now like i said facebook you can instantly stuff you yeah, instantly instantly so we're going to break away from that subject for a minute just talk about the venue you had i mean the uh event you have coming up so i'm gonna hold this out for the camera right here so they can see it usually i have miss tiffany seacard in here helping me and i would have her hold it up but she decided yeah, she, she went on vacation man what? i know you let her go on vacation. i know i know Something. i'm too nice because <laughs> <laughs> see now we need someone to hold this up but anyway we held it up for a minute you could pause it and read that uh but this is interesting and i really like the flyer that came out here and this is micro wrestling so this is october 30th y'all correct 
October 30th at Southern Rhythm Venue, which is on Highway 16. Maybe for the people that aren't familiar, the first thing we should do is kind of tell them how to get there from, straight, from say, from the interstate in Denham. Just go straight up 16. Yep. Um, every, pretty much everybody knows where the end of the line was. Yep. And as soon as you cross over in St. Helena, it's one mile on the left-hand side. There you go. One mile on the left-hand side. As soon as you cross into St. Helena, you will find Southern Rhythm Venue. Plenty of parking there. And they have the original micro-professional wrestling organization coming into town. Uh, one thing that Steve showed me just prior to us going on the air is uh, a video of these of these guys doing and gals doing what they do, and I'm gonna tell you what they're athletic. They, they are. They're flipping and and all kinds of things, going through chairs, tables, whatever. But really, it's just a good time for them, a good time for you, and I'm sure that these. These uh, micro wrestlers, you know, it's all about the crowd for them. They feel that energy. And so the bigger we can pack that house, the better for those guys. You know, they're out there. They're working hard, right? They're, they're yep. you know, they're, there's nothing easy about what they do. They were actually featured in Sports Illustrated magazine uh, at yep. one point. So mm -hmm. uh, a pretty amazing organization, probably the top micro wrestling organization there is out there. It is. They, um, they also... Uh, this group here also, I just found out, they opened up a place in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Oh, wow. They have their own building in, it, in Pigeon Forge. So they're legit, in yeah, other they're words. They're legit, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Jack that uh, that bought the building over there, Yeah, and he put his organization there. Yeah, so um, uh, this question just entered my mind. So is this a like a family-friendly event, or is this something only for adults? Or? They, they in, in Pigeon Forge, it's a family yeah. affair. Yeah. Here, we're going to make it 21 and up. 21 and up. 21 and gotcha. up. Gotcha. So, 21 and up uh, event. Um, it starts at 7 o'clock on the 30th, and you're going to have a DJ? We're going to have a DJ from 7 to 9. They uh, they take the stage at 9. Gotcha. To 11. Gotcha. And then after 11, we'll have a DJ to 1. And who's the DJ? Do you know off the top of your head? Don't know yet. Okay. We're, we're interviewing a couple of them. A lot of people don't know this, too, because I just tell them 19, I started innovative yeah but uh when i was 16 years old i had my own dj company really yeah look at a, you a man. lot of people don't know that so you were 16 when you and you're in business correct that makes me correct. feel I even just, worse I just, I just i just you know <laughs> love love live music and love djing so, yeah so i did that Excellent. for um, you know, three years i guess so I well you might do some dj in then at this so, time uh, um, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Put you behind that turntable. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, get after it. Yeah, so interesting. And uh, and will this be the first event uh, that you that you've had since it opened? Or, or well, it ain't open yet. Yeah. So so this um, will be this, the this kind of the right first now is going to be the first event. Um, we are trying. Uh, we talked to a couple bands right now, and maybe the week in before this mm -hmm. is get some bands in there to kind of fine tune it like a soft opening yeah um the music in that there um idea. we got uh jody's music yeah and, and walker's doing the music and the lighting oh and okay and i'll tell you what um, i didn't know he did lighting that's interesting he does uh him and it's another guy i forget his name yeah but uh they're doing all that for us up there and we went to every place around here and listened to their music Mm -hmm. and me come back the background of me lit, loving music sure and having innovative and yeah so, uh you know I, I love music so we got the best i wanted to the best equipment around yeah and uh it, this will be nothing like anybody's ever heard yeah uh, we went top notch with everything um and they uh, say it's just it's going to blow people's mind huge yeah we'll, huge. we'll, we'll good take, thing to mention too. we'll take a new band that's <clears throat> just starting out maybe they're tweaking their sound. Yeah. We'll make them sound like rock stars. Come on. Yeah. Just, yeah. just like your equipment yeah. here. Just like your equipment here sounds yes. really good. But, you know, equipment really does make a difference, whether it's it a venue, uh, a podcast. Um, it, you know, sound is really everything, especially in what you're doing. Correct. Um, uh, no expense. Uh, I mean, I went out there and said, look, well, I want the best. 
Yeah, very good. So uh, a heavy investment there, and I know that you remodeled it, and when you did, you just made it better and better, and there's an investment there with all of that. So you've really invested in this area, mm-hmm. and uh, and so, of course, us as, as people from this area, we want to support that. We want to support a hometown guy and, and uh, all of those sorts of things. So this is just the start of some of the things that are going to be rolling out for this for this venue now will you have will you be open on nights when you're not having events so let's say hypothetically you don't have a band schedule would you still be open with dj or no we're, we're looking at some of that um yeah. some of the uh, neon lighting parties mm-hmm. that, um, that that's they a do. huge thing right now mm-hmm. never done that yep um, but i see people yeah, yeah we're looking at neon lighting parties right now um so yeah we would we'd be open or DJs yeah. and stuff like that. But, you know, we got to schedule it. You know, yeah. it's not going to be a, your your local bar that you can go in on a Tuesday or Thursday or Friday, whenever. You right. Know, we have, it has to be an event going on. Gotcha. And we're also looking at uh, maybe doing car shows. Yeah. So we have car shows. Car um, shows are huge. Do, yeah. do that, you know, jumbleize and yeah. Like so there's your answer to that, folks. If you had that question, you, you have to have kind of a, a uh, event of some sort going on to be open. Now there will be alcohol uh, at this at, at this venue. So some people would have the question: Is do they have to bring their own or whatever? No, we have. You would uh, be we serving have a, it. We have a full bar there. Okay. Um. So we got bartenders. We got all that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh. So there you go. No bringing an ice chest in or no anything like ice that. Chest, they, no. They'll have it all ready for you in there. Uh, and you can really have a good time and keep in mind folks that, it, you know, it's not just events that Steve, uh, and his people over there schedule. If you have an event and you want to hold a private party there of some sort, you know, Woody Everton wants to do, uh, a uh, live podcast. Steve's all about it. Yeah, right. Might even talk to him, get him up. There. Yeah. 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 I could probably get him to do that. I think that would be a good, good, uh, venue for him. Yep. We got we got the equipment to stage. We got the room to do it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so anything like that. If you if you have a wedding coming up, and uh, you know you could use it for that. Corporate parties uh, be a great venue for that, and even birthday parties. You, you um, just a great venue and a big investment that you've made there. Um, and as as Steve stated earlier, no worries on parking. They tripled it. So uh, that was, you know, he did his homework before and he wanted to find out what was something you didn't like about good old boys because there was a lot of things to like. Tony Gyro did a great did job a great with job. it. Uh, but the biggest probably complaint was, man, the parking is so Steve said, well, I can fix that and tripled that parking. So no worries there. Um, they well, did. Also, we're going to have food trucks there too. So oh. Some of these big events come in. Yeah. We're going to have food trucks. Interesting. So people can drink, eat. Yeah. So we'll have the food trucks there, too, for them. That's a great idea. And a big deal right now. Food trucks are, shoot, they just had a food truck festival. I know. Uh, here and one in, in uh, Ascension Parish as well. So uh, food truck things are, are are the deal right now. And I know a lot of food truck people, too. I try to get them on the show. They're interesting cats. Right. Uh, mobile businesses, as I call those. So uh, Chris LeBlanc, Chase Tyler, and Kendall Schaefer were scheduled. The hurricane hit. Things happen. No electricity. It's hard to do podcasts. It's hard to do live venues. It kind of shut us all down there for several uh, weeks. But they will be rescheduled, uh, I'm sure, at some point. Oh, yes. They'll they'll, they'll be rescheduled. We're going to get them guys coming in. And we're going to, like I said, we'll have other people there, too. We're um, Wayne Toops. We're Wayne Toops, to love Wayne Toops. Swamp yeah. Pop, I yeah. love Swamp Pop. I love Pop. Wayne Toops. Um, Ernest Scott, local guys, Ernest Scott, yeah. you know, we're talking to his wife. Yeah, him that'd there. be great. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Yeah, I mean, like I so said, we're talking, I'm talking to a lot of people in the background that um, I want to bring that entertainment to Livingston Parish, St. Helena, you know. Yeah. But local, you know, local. Be the Texas Club of Livingston Parish. A little smaller. A little smaller. A little smaller. <laughs> It'd be a good problem to have. Bigger problem. I always tell people when you when you gotta look at growing the size of your building, you got a good problem. I mean yeah. that that means you're outgrowing your business and that's a good thing. Uh so Again, want to mention that it's straight down 16. You just keep going, keep going. You pass into the line. If you're not familiar where that is, just keep going till you see you're entering St. Helena Parish, about a mile past that on the left-hand side. 
you're going to see it. You can't miss it. Major improvements there. And uh, and let's pack out micro wrestling on the 30th. I guarantee it'll be something you ain't seen. You know, for most of you, you've never seen. And it will be entertaining. There's Very no much. doubt about it. The, I will put uh, and be sharing a video on my Facebook page of uh of these micro wrestlers doing their thing a little short 15 second thing you can watch so steve you got some sponsors let's shout those people out real oh, quick. most definitely premier credit yeah in denim yeah uh bj pawn yeah jeremy over there right there and, in denim yep uh yep. ben at performance automotive also in Ryan denim, denim good peeps, great man. great these these businesses are, these three guys are just awesome this yes business is awesome yeah been knowing them for years that's and right and they they're just down the earth, good people, and their business is awesome. Absolutely, and they're supporting other businesses, and that's that's what we look for out of a community. So check out Premier Credit, Performance Auto, and uh, Tire and Automotive, and BJ Pawn and Gun. Uh, all three of those well known Denham Springs uh, based businesses and proud sponsors of Steve's event micro. with micro wrestling. So we appreciate you bringing that, Thank you know, you. to our area. Uh, and uh, and come back anytime. Next, anytime you got anything to talk about, you got a major, uh, you got a major announcement on, you know, whatever band, when ACDC thing, we'll mention it. Well, you know, you can come on and talk about it and all those sorts of things. Also, keep in mind, again, that he has that parts store for your all your mobile home parts right there at SCM Property Management on Rushing Road. Uh, so check that out if you're in need. Give them a call if you're curious if they got a part in stock, and they can certainly help you with that. Steve, thank you for coming on. Thank you. I am Jim Chapman. I want to thank all my sponsors. I want to thank all of you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Look, we are over, almost at 10,000 followers on our uh, YouTube page. We're almost at 10,000 on our Facebook page, and we're almost at 10,000 on our Instagram page. Never thought I'd see that day, but it's a beautiful thing. It's local people supporting local people, and that's what we love to do. So until next time, I'm Jim Chapman reminding you to love your community, support local business, and keep leading. Thank you very much.